Well, hi, everyone, and greetings from northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy. You know, it's not often that Michigan makes the Flat Earth News, but we did a couple of weeks ago when a balloon carrying some photographic equipment crash-landed on a small horse farm about 40 miles from my house. This came to the attention of the mighty D. Marble, and let's go ahead and have a look at his video and see how many mistakes he can make. Cue up the music. Hey, what's up, folks? So I had to do a quick video about this. I saw a story circulating online about a satellite that came down in a couple's yard uh, out, out in Michigan. So here, let's let's go ahead and get into this real quick. All right, let me see. All right. Yeah, Michigan family shocked to find space gear crashed onto their property. Okay, so here's a picture of the satellite, <laughs> as it were, on their property. Oh, my goodness. All right, yeah, let's get into this. Saginaw County, Michigan, Nancy Welke says she heard something crash onto their property on the Saginaw and Gradiot County line around 845 this morning. Uh, Gradiot County 911 confirms they are investigating. Welke says she went outside and found a device that appeared to be from outer space. <laughs> Here we go. Welke said the device was still making noises. The device had the wording Samsung space cell. Well, guys, let's have a quick look at this object. Uh, it appears to be very lightly constructed. It had some solar panels on it to generate electricity. And there's a large red cord attached to it that seems to be attached to something off camera. Now, even a quick look at the internet shows that the Samsung space selfie is something that is very, very well reported. As a matter of fact, here are some newsroom uh, releases from it. The idea was is they were going to send a balloon up with a new Samsung 10 phone, and you had an app that you could send a selfie to this phone, and it would take a picture of you with the curved earth and the black of space in the background, which is very doable at 65,000 feet. Now, a quick look over here that this is the basket that that phone was housed in. And that's, this is what ends up in that uh, Gratiot County farm. And if you look down here a little further, you can see the actual setup of it, how they did it. So they had a camera that took a picture of the Samsung phone. And your selfie would be on it. And then, it, you know, you'd send your selfie into it. It would take the picture and send it back to you so you could post it. It's kind of a cool concept. Well, as I said, this is a very well-publicized marketing plan that they put out. They launched the balloon from Iowa. It was supposed to float up around 65,000 feet for 200 hours. But due to weather conditions, it came down a little early here in Michigan. Uh, here, yeah, let's let's check out this video real quick. Never know what's going to happen. This baby fell out of the sky and landed in our yard. It's never boring on the Welkie farm. Thank God there's no horses out or it didn't hit the house. <laughs> and it's still going and flashing. Well, there oh, you wow. have it. A publicity stunt came down near Alma, Michigan. So let's see what D. Marble thinks this is. Okay, so there was uh, some sort of uh, publicity stunt, apparently, to uh, have people buy into 5G, which uh, a lot of us know or, uh, you know, I've heard about the damage that 5G causes, uh, you know, the uh, increase in uh, microwaves uh, with all these short-range towers. Stay focused, Daryl. We're talking about the balloon in Michigan, not 5G. You know, they're, they're using this as a promotion to get people bought into having their selfie as... Uh, what what with the uh, with earth as a backdrop because this balloon was supposed to be going up to space the only problem is space is fake <laughs> well slow down there space cowboy this is a balloon balloons do not go into space all right this went to 65,000 feet it was a marketing ploy by Samsung and yes you can see the curve of the earth and the darkness of the sky above uh, which is space of course from that altitude. It was kind of a neat trick. You know, that whole idea of having a pressurized system like Earth next to a vacuum space, what that's supposed to be, without a physical barrier separating the two, it, it, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, it doesn't stand to reason. It doesn't match up with reality. Well, no, Daryl. Space is real. And, you know, 
I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you, as a flat Earth scientist and an expert in the second law of thermodynamics, tell me exactly how it isn't a violation of the second law for me to take water and freeze it into ice cubes in my freezer. Doesn't that decrease the entropy of the water? Why don't you think about that for a minute? As a result of space being fake and them not being able to actually send anything into space, like they send the rockets up and they just go to the side, that doesn't actually, you know, go out to space. Those rockets crash out in the Bermuda Triangle, perhaps. <laughs> you know, Daryl, you and the other flat earthers are constantly talking about perspective, yet you don't seem to recognize it when you see it. You know, the rockets go into orbit. They go down below the horizon because they're in orbit and they're going around the Earth. And by the way, you ever notice the exhaust plume on a rocket? You ever notice how it seems to kind of spread out like that? I wonder why that happens. Perhaps you might want to look into that one too. Because nothing can escape the firmament, it goes up to a certain point and then, you know, what goes up must come down. That's, we, we all know that. And here's more. Well, Daryl, there's that. a big difference between a balloon, which is in the atmosphere, and a rocket, which goes into orbit. And since you bring up the firmament, let me ask you a couple of questions about that. How high is the firmament? Since we have a gradient of pressure in our atmosphere that starts at one atmosphere at sea level and goes down the higher you get, where does it stop going down again and why? And at what elevation? That's the third question that you can ask. So we've got the second law of thermodynamics with ice cubes. We have why rocket plumes spread out as the rocket goes up. And you can tell me exactly where the firmament is and when the pressure gradient of the atmosphere stops and why. This, this fake satellite uh, come back crashing to the ground and landing in Nancy's yard. So yeah, more proof there uh there this this article is being shared all over social media i just hopped off of facebook and i saw it all along the thread a few people had shared it already i'm about to go share it again share this video i'm going to post a link in the description for this article so you can check it out and uh share it for yourself um yeah get this out there people need to know that space is fake that nasa lies and that the earth is stationary this is an enclosed system it was created this flat earth that we all live in and uh, it's necessary to let everybody know what's going on as a first step to have people wake up from the idea that they can actually trust these um, government officials the, the people that run these governments. well actually Daryl the first step is not sharing these articles um, because people like me will just look into the background of them and it's perfectly explainable the first step is actually trying to come up with some evidence to support the flat earth that does not involve arguing against spherical earth. You know, I can tell you right now, if the earth is not a sphere, fine. Prove to me it's flat. But I don't really think you can do that because um, you can't even do basic research on the Internet. Finding out that there are a bunch of criminals, too, tied up in this whole um human trafficking situation that's being busted up all over the world but that's what's up with this article uh michigan family shocked to find space gear crashed on their property <sighs> interesting well, times indeed yes yeah, daryl interesting times times where critical thinking seems to be lost upon a lot of people that have access to computers and the internet that's a pity don't you think you're a smart guy, Daryl. I think you can do a little bit better. So I'll let you look up those things and maybe get back to me as soon as you can. In the meantime, this is Bob the Science Guy signing out from Northern Michigan. Thank you very much for stopping by. Make sure you hit that little like and subscribe button down there in the lower right corner. And remember, I have a Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. You can be a member of Team Bob for just five bucks a month. Doesn't get you anything special other than bragging rights that you're on Team Bob. So, take care, guys.